Hey guys, this is Armed with Freedom. Last night I was sitting there and I realized I hadn't uploaded any videos in quite some time. Apologize for the road noise, but I need the garage doors open for this video. Alright. <clears throat> Does everybody know the difference in between a toy and a tool? Alright. My <laughs> version, and I'm not going to look up anything in a dictionary and tell you. Let me take these off for a second. Um, I'm not looking it up in a dictionary. My version of a tool is something that you need to fix something with all right you can't fix something unless you have the tool to fix it all right a toy is something that you play with for enjoyment or yeah just enjoy it that's a toy that's why it's a toy all right <laughs> now what i have set up behind me that what took me a little bit to actually do let me get it out here like this is some toys and some tools that I have placed on this workbench. Why are they placed out like they are? Because I was just going to show the difference in between a tool and a toy. Wait a minute, not that one. That one's real. <laughs> Anyways, listen. A BB gun is a toy. All right, there's some out there that could be deadly, you know, for a small game if you wanted to hunt with them or something like that. But most of them are toys. With the exception of what I came across here about a couple weeks ago. And I've actually been using it as a tool. And it has really helped me out in a lot of different ways. And this is not a sales pitch for this um, certain BB gun in any kind of way. I'm actually not even going to mention the name of the gun. But what I am going to show is the fact that it resembles an SBR in every kind of way. Okay? The uh, safety switch is in the same spot. The bolt release is in the same spot. Your charging handle is in the same spot. It does have a fake um, Ford assist, but it has a retractable stock and a regular pistol grip just like a AR-15 um, and an angled port grip. It's got a bunch of, it's got a quad round where you can attach all kinds of bunch of lights and lasers and stuff that's what you wanted to do on the i'm sorry for the tripod i do apologize for that and i keep forgetting to bend over um but it does come back with some flip up sights that are not mechanical you actually have to do it yourself and if you want to see what this gun actually is as far as the name brand and all that it's all over the internet right now and you can figure out the name of the gun this that's not what this is about Today is the difference in between toys and tools. Why do I keep saying that? Can I use this as a tool? Yes, and I absolutely have for quite some time since I've had it. It has saved me so much money as far as ammo that it's crazy. I mean, you can buy you some CO2s because it runs on two CO2s that are replaced in the magazine. It holds 25 rounds. I uh, wish it held a little more and I had an extra magazine because it would help on, you know, reloads and all that. But I don't. This is what I have. But what I'm telling you as far as using this as a tool and not a toy is because of this right here. It's still the same fun fundamentals. I mean, as far as the way it works is no different than a regular AR-15. That's what you just decided to use for home defense or self-protection, then you need to train with that, all right? You need to train with the weapon that you decided to buy yourself, <clears throat> okay? But you can also get something that is very, very close to the real deal and train and train and train with it like it's a tool because that's what I'm considering this is a tool and not a toy. So if you want to go out and buy you a toy, go buy you a toy, all right? Get you a Nerf gun or airsoft gun. But if you want a tool that is effective, go look at one of these if you like shooting AR-15s because you can't go wrong because it, it is all still the same movements, okay? Can anybody go out here and shoot 100 rounds every day of uh, 5.56 and 223? Well, if somebody's very rich, they probably could, but right now with everything going on, it's really hard to find ammo. And, you know, there's a lot of people that ain't working, you know, I mean, so, Think about the possibilities that you could come up with by training with one of these. Still go shoot your real gun, all right? Don't get me wrong. You need to practice with what you own. But it's still the same fundamentals. And it's like 
feeding yourself. Do you have to think where the fork goes? No, it goes there every single time unless you've had a couple too many uh, liquid encouragements. But guys, remember this. Sorry I ain't done a video in quite some time. Maybe I can uh, get back into them a little more. Um, this is Arm of Freedom. If you do go shoot, clean up after yourself. Don't leave your trash for somebody else to come behind you and pick it up. Um, you know, we're all big kids here in this world, so uh, your mom taught you to clean your room up. So if you do go shoot, clean your trash up. Always remember to be safe. Until next time, this is Arm of Freedom.